Welcome to the WHHI News. I'm Ellie McNair, and here's a look at your headlines. Drivers in Charleston had to find alternate routes on Monday as roads were closed because of President Joe Biden's visit to that city. The president spoke at Mother Emanuel AME Church in Charleston, where in 2015, a white supremacist shot and killed nine black parishioners, including a state senator. It was Biden's fourth visit to the state. Vice President Kamala Harris was in Myrtle Beach on Sunday and returns later this month to speak at the King Day at the Dome event in Columbia. Well, even though we don't get the heavy snow like they got in some areas of New England last weekend, we're about to get our own challenging weather. The National Weather Service says high winds, 30 to 40 miles per hour with gusts up to 60, could impact Beaufort County and coastal Jasper County Tuesday morning through Tuesday evening. The Weather Service says even higher winds could occur on elevated bridges. Well, two very large visitors were spotted off the coast of South Carolina this weekend. They were great white sharks, detected by the nonprofit research group OSEARCH. Jekyll, an 8-foot, eight 8-inch eight long male juvenile weighing 395 pounds, and Ann Bonney, a 9-foot, 3-inch long female juvenile weighing 425 pounds, were heading south for warmer waters. If you would like to track these two as well as other great white sharks, you can do so by going to osearch.org. Well, Buford is getting ready to host its 18th annual International Film Festival in February. Two films will feature the scenery of the Low Country. The documentary, The Spirit of Buford Remembering Forrest Gump, was filmed during the movie making of that movie, rather. And The Final Run, entered in the feature film category, tells the story of a gentleman smuggler who makes one final drug run in order to get money to care for his ailing wife. Now, if you'd like to get a preview, you can watch those films' trailers at islandpacket.com. Well, first there was one, now there are two. Two great horned owl legs, that is, in a nest spotted via the live raptor cam on Hilton Head Island. The live stream is courtesy of the Hilton Head Island Land Trust. A pair of great horned owls have been checking out the nest site since September, and the first egg was spotted last week. The second egg was discovered this past weekend. Now, you can see the great horned owls in their nest for yourself by going to hhilandtrust.org slash raptorcam. We're going to learn more about those owls and the Hilton Head Island Land Trust later in our broadcast. Now, for more information on these stories and more, visit the news sources on your screen and be sure to check us out on Facebook, X, and Instagram. And if you have a story idea, email us at news at whhitv.com. When we come back, we'll find out how local fishermen are making sure that those in need are getting some of their catch. Stay right there. <music> 